God bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 2, and we'll begin reading in verse number 7. And it says, Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he saith unto them, Draw out now, and bear unto the governor of the feast, and they bear it. Amen. This is an account of the first miracle, the first recorded miracle in the Bible, when Jesus turned water into wine. And a lot has been said about this passage of Scripture and about this miracle, and rightly so. Um, and certainly we know that when Jesus turned the water into wine and it was presented to the governor, uh, the governor uh, went to the bridegroom and said, you know, most people put out uh, the best wine first and then after people have have had their share of drinking then they put out the inferior wine he said but you have kept the best wine until now Jesus uh, made the best wine amen and isn't that like our God that whatever he puts his hands to will turn out for the best but one of the things we want to talk about in this miracle today that I believe gets overlooked is what we see in verse 7 and that is that Jesus told his disciples to fill up the water pots with water. And now we're told in the scripture text that the water pots uh, contained about two to three firkins apiece. Uh, we don't use the term firkins nowadays. Uh, but if we were to translate that into modern terms, it was about 20 to 30 gallons in each of these water pots. And they had six of them. So we're talking about 180 gallons of water that had to be poured into those water pots. And who did that? His servants did. And so often we focused on the wine. But how many of you know without water there wouldn't have been any wine? If Jesus said to his disciples, fill it up with water, and they didn't do it, then the miracle would not have taken place. Isn't it something that the water had to be there first. That means that the physical uh, efforts of a human being had to be extended before the supernatural power of God was released. That's something that we need to keep in mind because right now perhaps you need a miracle. Jesus is more than able to do it and he's willing to do it but before he does he may need you to fill the pot with water. He may need you to do something in the natural before he moves in the supernatural. Are you willing to fill the water pot? Are you willing to do the hard work that might be necessary in the natural so that Jesus can do the supernatural miracle that you need? Are you willing to draw the water so that there can be wine? It's something that we have to keep in mind. And God has said this to us time and time again of how we are involved in the miracles that take place in our lives. And so here we see it again, that the disciples had to get to work before Jesus performed the miracle. And I believe that that's a lesson that God wants to get through to us on this day, that we need to be willing to do what is required in the natural so that we can see the supernatural move of God in our lives. So ask yourself today, Am I willing to draw the water so that Jesus can make the wine? God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged and know that Jesus loves you and his love never fails. Say,